This video will review how to put a balloon onto an EUS linear scope. We are using the GF UCT 180 EUS linear scope with a MAJ 675 linear balloon applicator and MAJ 249 linear balloon. But these instructions apply to all curvilinear EUS scopes. Let's start by looking at the function and details of each product to ensure you are familiar with the design features and how they work. EUS valves are two-stage valves. Often, when the valves are new, they need to be primed. We can do this by pressing the valve button completely down several times to confirm it moves smoothly. Tip: If the button is difficult to press completely down to the second stage, turn it upside down and press it firmly down on a hard surface. First, let's review the MAJ1443 suction valve. Pressing halfway down to this first stage on the button of the MAJ1443 suction valve will aspirate fluid into the working channel of the scope, while completely pressing on the button to the second stage will aspirate the water out of the balloon. For the MAJ1444 air water valve, Holding your finger over the hole in the center of the button and pressing halfway down to the first stage will activate the water jet to clean the lens. To dry the lens, release the button and cover the hole in the center of the button with your finger to allow air to be emitted. Covering the hole and completely pressing on the button to the second stage will fill the balloon with water. Let's review a few features of the tip of the GF UCT 180 EUS linear scope. The salmon colored band is the transducer. There are finely cut crystals under this band and this area in particular should be handled with care. Here we can see the balloon attachment groove. In addition, note the water and suction ports. The linear balloon part number MAJ249 has one ring. The linear balloon applicator, MAJ675, has one hole, the same as the balloon. Note the groove for the ring on the balloon. Now that we have all the parts assembled, let's begin the process of getting the balloon on the scope. First, fill the water bottle with water to the fill line only. Do not overfill. Depress the air water valve completely until the water flows from the balloon water supply port to eliminate air from the channel. Do not depress the suction valve. The scope can now be set aside. To place the balloon on the applicator, hold the ring on the outside of the applicator. With the other hand, stretch the ring around the top of the applicator. Tip: Don't worry about any folds or rolls in the balloon. These will take care of themselves. It doesn't have to look perfect. Using the applicator, place the balloon over the scope up to the groove. Using your finger or thumb, roll the ring off of the applicator into the groove. Remove the applicator. Tip: Take care not to rub the balloon between the applicator and the scope as this can sometimes rub a hole in the balloon. Point the tip down. Inflate the balloon to approximately the size of a half dollar. If leakage occurs, ensure the ring is securely seated in the groove by gently pressing on it with your fingers. Now bring any air bubbles together near the suction port and aspirate them by completely depressing the suction valve button to the second stage. Continue to inflate and suction the balloon until all air bubbles are eliminated. The scope is now ready for use in the procedure. Next, let's talk about removing the balloon at the end of the case. Inflating the balloon with water slightly will make this easier. Holding the end of the scope securely, cover the balloon with a 4x4 to prevent splashing. Pinch the balloon and quickly remove from the tip of the scope and discard. Do not pinch or pull the scope, only the balloon. Alternative method to remove the balloon. While holding the end of the scope securely, place thumb at the base of the balloon on the back of the transducer and roll the balloon off. 